All right, so we have everything installed, ready to go. We're now looking at our empty project and thinking, um, all right, how do I use grunt on this now? Well, the first thing you always need to do whenever you want to gruntify a project is you navigate to that project's home directory, which we should have done in the last video, and type npm in it and hit enter. And what this is going to do is it's going to walk you through setting up a core package JSON file. Now this is just core basic information about your project, nothing really, you know, grunt related, but grunt is going to use this file to do, you know, all those automated tasks later on. So all this stuff's really easy. The name of your project, I'm just going to name this demo. The version 1.0 looks good. Description, uh, I'll be like a website about bacon. Entry point index.html test command nope get repository too lazy set that up keywords nope you can just hit enter and skip through most of these if you're too lazy to fill them out author Bucky Roberts just gonna hit enter for the rest of these alright so there's you know some core information about my project is this okay yes it is looks awesome and boom now check out what happened actually if I refresh this you can see that what that did is it created this file right here package.json and essentially it's just a JSON file of all the information that we just gave it so now grunt can use this whenever it needs basic info and we can actually delete this scripts and this license right here because I want to clunk it up with too much crap that we don't need and let me expand this again and well, might as well keep that open alright so after that what we need to do is we need to install one more thing and that is grunt itself and you guys are like um didn't we already do that with the grunt CLI this is where it gets kinda confusing the grunt CLI is a program that allows us to type grunt commands grunt itself is the thing that's gonna be doing all those automated tasks like minifying our CSS and JavaScript and watching our less files so again CSI I mean CLI just allows us to type grunt commands. Grunt is going to be doing all the cool stuff. Why they separated them, I don't know. It's kind of confusing, but whatever. So in each project that you have, you're going to install grunt so it can do those automated tasks. So again, from your project's home directory, type npm install grunt. Now you also want to type save minus dev. Now what this is going to do is it's going to save it as a dependency and you guys are going to see after you hit enter what that means. And by the way, these warnings that pop up at first, they're not like error messages. So if you see them, don't freak out. This is just saying, hey, um, you don't like have a readme, you don't have a repository yet and um, your package.json, that license, you deleted it. It doesn't really matter. It's more actually information instead of warnings. It, I mean, why did they make it like bright yellow? It makes me feel like I just deleted like the most important file on my computer or something. But don't freak out. Now, another thing I want to show you guys is this. So if you refresh your package.json, what you see is that it actually added grunt as a dependency. Now, a dependency is just something that your project uses. So whenever we install those other plugins, we're going to see those as dependencies as well and also it installed grunt itself so it gave you a folder called node underscore modules and we now have a module called grunt now we're never actually going to be in here editing any of these files it just says okay you can now use grunt in your project so that's all we did again a lot of this thing a lot of this always happens behind the scenes but I just wanted to give you guys a detailed explanation because if you see a bunch of files popping up in your project you don't get freaked out so you now know what everything is doing packages.json and we now have grunt installed in the next video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install those plugins and actually doing something useful so I'll see you then